What it is, what it do, everyone. It's your boy Jake Killen here, back with another episode of The Walking Doki. And I'm going to avenge myself for the amount of chicanery that has been at the end of the last episode because that was just very disappointing. Um, I don't know if that was a Q or if that was an O, but I'm going to find out one way or another. <laughs> so, if you guys are excited to see the rest of The Walking Doki, be sure to hit that like button and stick around. Also, if you don't like zombies and you don't like guns and you don't like flashing lights, I have plenty of the content on this channel that would be better for you, so... I want to go check that out. In the meantime, we're just going to... make it do what it do, you know? Here we go. A man... Okay, we read this already. Not just that. What the hell's wrong with that guy? He manages to grab me. I need to push him back. See, that doesn't make any sense. It looks like a Q, but then I hit Q and it doesn't work. Something's gotta give, bruh. I'm wondering like what what's going on here? Okay. So that's right. Okay, so there's that. Alright, there we go. Woo! Jeez. I punch... Finally, we did it. I punch my opponent, distracting them. Run! I grab him. Wait! What about the others? Sorry, it's dangerous. They're here? Why are they here? We can't leave them behind! Okay, okay, okay. I anxiously scan the area. Also, let me just, um... God, it's just abhorrently loud. It's just annoying me. There's no one, but okay. I anxiously scan the area. My head hammering against my chest. Just, just start running! I'll go get them! Stay far away from those freaks. Don't stop running. Run to your house. I'll catch up to you, all right? Oh, oh, oh okay. Are, are you, are you, you'll be like, go! I'll figure it out. Oh my god. I need to focus. Focus. Focus! Where could they be? Without thinking, I charge toward the club room, hoping that the others might be there. Three lying on the floor. I check their faces. I have to keep running. I need to find them. Monica. Yuri. Natsuki. Ah, oh, there's Amy. Amy became a zombie. No. And two more unwelcome faces. Shit! I push the red-haired girl. She falls to the ground. One more. Hey! For fuck's sake! He's too strong! Viciously, he tries to bite on my neck. Come on! No! Why? Why couldn't I be stronger? Sayori, I promised. She's waiting for me. I can't give up. But my arms are giving way. He's on the ground. 
It's on the ground. I open my eyes. I look up. I see a guy staring at the now dead body. Oh, it's Thomas. Then he looks at me. Get up, you lazy ass. I look at the girls. He's holding a knife? A chromatic butterfly knife stained with red with red con contrasts his rough black hair. Where have I seen these two? Black hair extends his hand. Hey, are you okay? Oh. Oh no, this is Thomas. I don't know who the hell this guy is. He ain't both the same voice, shit. Yeah, I'm fine. How are the others? Ah, uh, they seem fine. Eh, let's go. Oh no, I'll give him an Australian accent, there we go. Oh no, 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 that's Thomas. I'll give the other guy the Australian accent. Hold on! Who the hell are you? More students appear from behind the corner. I'll tell you later. We, we have to go. A deep commanding voice that has everything but commanding. He's putting on a brave face, but his voice is shaking. But now isn't the time for hesitations. Come on, Sarah's waiting for us. Scanning through our options, we run toward the stairwell. Stick together! Oh, that's the first time Monica spoke. Wow. We're finally out. A little ways from the front of the school is better than being in, is a lot better than is a lot better than the inside. It's more cleared out than it was than it had been earlier. We sh We hide behind foliage, catching our breaths. I knew this I knew this was coming. And you didn't believe me. What? When they'll not say that. Yeah. Whatever. You do you. My eyes widen. From the distance, I see Sari running towards us. I thought I told her to run! Oh, thank God! I thought I lost you guys. Sari looks at her two new friends. Hey, Killen, who are they? Uh, I think introductions can wait. Let's just get out of here. We're still out in the open. It's probably a good idea to relocate. We slow down, assuring ourselves that we haven't been followed by any unsavory characters. Jesus. We try to catch our breaths. Thankfully, no one's been bitten. We're in, unf we're in an unfamiliar neighborhood. Lines of homes, open doors, ajar. Community cookout? Or maybe the former residents just left in a hurry. Definitely, definitely the latter. All right, since that's out of the way, you finally feel like telling us your names? Tan boy raises an eyebrow and laughs. Of course, of course, <laughs> of course, of course. It's not like we haven't had other things to do. Where my manners? I didn't know you had any. Yeah, how'd you figure? Really? My mom's dress? Brown wasn't her color. It was definitely not my fault she picked wrong. Well, anyway, I'm Michael. That's Thomas. What about yourselves? We go around introducing our we go around introducing ourselves to the un to the unusual pair. What's your name? Her eyes scan through the group. She sighs. Natsuki. Well, isn't that dandy? We're all acquainted now. Michael throws a dirty look at Thomas. What do we do now? What do you want to do now? Tame. Wait. What do you th What do you think, pal? Thomas groans, a flash of frustration f surfacing for just a m for just a second. Ugh, this again. Great. We can talk about it later, you know. Glaring at Michael, some sort of nonverbal agreement is reached. Yuri and Sari remain quiet. On edge. 
while Natsuki crossed her arms and looks down, clearly thinking about it some clearly thinking about something. I don't know if I should fully trust them yet. But they did choose to save us when they didn't need to. It's probably best to stick with them for now. And Michael's given us the initiative here, and we should be and we should definitely take it. Uh, supplies. We need to think long term. Supplies and the such, you know? Food, water, and I don't know, maybe something to protect ourselves with? Yeah, yeah. Long term. That too. But if we need to keep on running. Nowski pulls on her shirt collar. I think getting out of these uniforms might be a good idea. Wouldn't be wouldn't have to be running around in these damn shoes the whole time. Uh, I suppose you're right. Use the wrong form of your. <laughs> Thomas looks around, shifting to a more serious, confident tone. Here's what we're here's what we're going to do. Buddy system. If we split into three groups, no one would be by themselves. We'll be able to cover more ground. We'll go to our homes, change, gather supplies, do whatever. And then we meet. Thomas' voice trails off. Thomas's voice trails off. Meet where? Hmm. At the school? What? We look at Thomas wide-eyed. He's like, you know I gotta do it to him. <laughs> Confusion. It's super effective. Terror. Remind of what's there. But, 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 isn't that where they are? Yeah, at least hundreds of them. Look, if you're guaranteed we don't get lost, and pretty much all of them are at the school, we'd have the advantage in visibility if we were at the front gate. There's probably more supplies at the school, too. Are, are you okay? Wait, what? Did you bump your head or something? Why is it usually that empty up there? Thomas shows genuine confusion. Wait, what do you mean? Cross, this ain't personal, but can you just shut up for one second? She advances towards him, sneering. Get your head out of your ass! Are you even listening to this guy? Why wouldn't I? He, why wouldn't I? I'm not an idiot. What? How was that? But really? You're not an idiot? I honestly couldn't tell. Because from because from here, I just see an idiot meathead. This piece of shot. Hey. Can't you calm down? I don't think it's helping. Mike Natsuki glares at Michael. Michael glares back. Yeah, sure. I'm calm. I am calm. But just a quick question. Where can we throw this dumbass into, into a nearby lake? Oh, when can we throw this dumbass into a nearby lake? Okay, alright. We get you thinking pretty funny. But can you just shut the fuck up for one second? You both need to calm down right now. Monica steps in between the two. It's hack -tack. You're not in a good state of mind right now, but that's no excuse to go around arguing with people we just met. Isn't that right, Michael? You too, Natsuki. I didn't. My, I didn't start it, so. Frankly, I didn't ask. Damn. Got the snap in the Z formation, cause Monica got all that sass and all that ass. Michael, Michael finally decides to back off. All of a sudden, Thomas's eyes go wide. John. We all look at him, confused. What? Michael. We forgot about John. Michael stares blankly. Realization then takes a moment to flash across his face. Oh, fantastic, Mike. Um, who's John? Thomas and Michael exchange glances, thinking on what to do. John's an old friend of ours. I'd known him since elementary. God was easily scared. But it was one hell of a, it was one hell of a reaction. And you wanna go and you wanna go pick him up? The mole the merrier, right? 
Yeah, I guess you're right. Where does he live? Michael looks around. Probably that away. He points down the street towards where he came. Where we came. Oh, that's great. If he lives nearby, Sarah and I could pick up our stuff at our houses since I think it's the same direction. We should get going. We don't really need both of us going through. We don't really need both of us going though. I guess that's true. It would be quite redundant. Hmm. Who do you want to go with here? I don't know. Well, judging from earlier in the game, we know Thomas lives. We know what happens to Michael. So it might be interesting to get to know Michael better. Since I'm sure going to get to know Thomas through the story anyway. So I'm going to go with Michael. I think that Michael can go with us. Probably a good idea to keep Michael and Natsuki separate. Yeah, whatever works. The others decide on their plans. They decide that Thomas will go with Yuri, while Monica will go with Natsuki, each going to, the, to their own houses. Natsuki pipes up, realizing something. Wait, how are we supposed to communicate with each other? Smoke signal? Good point. What if we run into trouble? If we're lucky, I think the phone lines uh, should still be working. We should be able to just call each other. Really? To test Thomas's theory, I whip up my phone and look at the signal. Um, yeah, mine still works. I show Natsuki the four full bars of signal. Alright then. Later. With that, the other two leave. Sari, Michael, and I head toward our houses. Well, this is quite fun, wouldn't you guys say? Yo, look at this nerd drip. Yo, look at Michael in his sweatpants and his flannel shirt. Mm. <laughs> a robotic voice rem reminds me of my sixth failed call. What you trying to do over there? Checking in with my parents. I can't get a signal. Well, that sucks. Both me and Michael are waiting outside Sari's house while she is packing her stuff. I packed what I needed. A fresh change of clothes. A Glock 17 with an empty magazine. I can't find the ammo in the house. Michael picked it up. Michael picks it up from my bag and inspects it, then returns it to me. No ammo. Nice. Maybe we could find some on the way. You never know. I mean, why would you own? Why would you own a gun? And have no bullets, eh? <laughs> That's a funny story. My father guessed that showing it to Sarah was a good idea, so he did. When Sarah was expecting it, though, she somehow turned off the safety. And my father pulled the trigger. We had the police call on us and a window to replace. My mother and him argued over the matter the whole night. In the end, they agreed to just keep the gun for decoration. And, you know, not using it for its intended purpose. That's stupid. <laughs> I also thought that. But any time I would bring it up, my mother would remind me of... What happened? Michael nods. I stash a gun into my bag. That's what I want to know, honestly. How did Thomas know something like this was coming? Well, yesterday, we saw this very drunk, very homeless guy in front of the store. But Michael, that's totally normal, right? See? We saw him, we saw him, when we saw him, he had blood in his shoulders, legs and arms. Thomas got paranoid and John shit his pants. Well, not literally. What happened after? We just left the guy, of course. But turns out, it was kind of a trend in the homeless community. Next day comes, Thomas said we should bring some something for protection. If anything sketchy happens, John decided to stay at home instead. And you? Oh, you run into school like you had a plan. Did you also know about this? Well, not really. I was with Sayori on our way home. And in that way, we... S and, on, and on the way, we saw Rob's store. Shards of glass everywhere. A man warned us about people going missing, so we were on guard, but 
We didn't expect something like this. Makes sense. Yeah. How long have you known Thomas? Hmm. Thomas, my friend, yeah? I haven't known him as long as the guy we're about to, we're heading to meet. But I, uh, I think I can say that Thomas is a good guy, or at least seems, or at least seems like it. But let's see. He, he's kind most of the time. He does really get angry sometimes. It shows different than me though. This guy, he's always paying attention. He doesn't lose his head every time he gets frustrated. Me on, me on the other hand. I'm just a guy who doesn't give a shite. Yeah. I can tell. Oh, why? That wasn't your question. Um, I forget. Nice if we got to nice if we get to go through every question and ask. I like this. Who came up with the idea to save us? That was my We weren't originally planning to. Long story short, we were at the school and fit like it. But why? Michael looks to his side. It looks like he's thinking up an excuse. I wonder why. Well, I don't know. So you just went out of your way to help people you didn't even know? Yup. Michael was being weird earlier. I'll just have to deal with it later. Wait a Shay. It shouldn't take a person 30 minutes to change. Maybe she's... Maybe she's looking... Maybe she's looking for something. I'd let her be. We've been standing around doing nothing. You know, time we could spend on other things. Hmm, alright. I'll go check on her, if you want. I guess I'll rush her a little. The kitchen, filled with open cupboards and drawers, appeared bleak. A broken cup with its contents splattered around. She isn't in her living room either. I go upstairs to Cyrus' bedroom. I put my ear on the door and listen. Don't tell me Cyrus hung herself. Nothing. Cyrus, are you there? Yeah, I am. Come in. I sigh in relief as I open the door. Sari sits on the side of the bed, looking at her phone. Sure, she's already changed her pack. The evidence? The horrible mess of clothes on the floor. Oh, she's wearing... She's wearing jeans. Which is really funny because it just looks like they took the Sprite and just colored in the rest of the pants the same way. <laughs> Is everything okay? Yeah, it is. D don't worry about it. Sorry, as she usually does, puts on that fake smile of hers. I don't buy it. I close the door and take a seat next to her. Sorry, you already know. I look her in the eyes, try my best to hide my concern. That you can talk to me. I won't judge you for anything. Her eyes water. She hands me her phone. I, 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 I'm trying to call my parents, but, but they're, they're, they're not responding. Oh. I see. Hey, we'll be fine, alright? You both know how tough your mom is. But, 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 but what if they're not... I promise. I promise that things will be okay. Don't make promises you can't keep, boy. I promise we'll see them again. Sorry, will remember this. Shy. Sorry, sniffs as she wipes her eyes off. Oh, all right. I stand up and look around the room once more, just making sure. But you've got everything packed, right? Yeah. She makes her way over to her plushy cow. Oh, I'll miss you, Mr. Cow. With that, she gives the room one last look before we head out.
Oh, so that's what she was trying to do. She was trying to look for her family. Big sad, bro. After a bit of walking, Michael starts to slow down. We're here. He heads to the front door. Shav, you see anything? Keep watch for us. I'll be right back. Michael not. Michael knocks on the door. John, it's me. Maybe he's asleep. That's always a possibility. No response. Maybe we should just break in? You serious? Ow! The hinges look really old. Maybe we can kick it down. Oh, you're right. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Michael steps back a bit. Do you want to have a go at it? Yeah, boy. Yeah, sure. We're gonna Derek Morgan this door. I take a few steps back and prepare to kick the door. Here we go. Kick. It bursts open, slamming into a wall behind it. You have the wide open entrance to the main hall. Damn, Killen. That was sick, mate. Heh. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Let's go inside. Hopefully John doesn't mind his door being broken. And I think now is a good time to end this episode. I know you... Sorry, you guys, but we're going to have to meet John next time. Let me know what you thought of this very fanatical episode. I'm going to ha I have, I have some complaints about the, the quick time events. But other than that, I'm enjoying the story so far, so I can't really complain. Um, again, if you made it this far, like, hit the like button if you haven't already. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to stay for more fun, quality content that you're seeing now. You get... You, because, you know what, whatever. It's been real. It's been fun, you guys. It's your boy, Jake Killen. Ciao for now.